Good afternoon, Dingles Crypto. So I have a very good episode for you today. We are going to be covering Cover Protocol, which is an insurance protocol built on Ethereum and helps you cover the risk of other protocols and smart contract risk, which is obviously essential in DeFi. And actually, this is going to be a very good episode. So stay tuned. There's a there something's happening in DeFi. And I covered it in my last couple of videos, but it, again, it shows its head with cover protocol, good or bad or indifferent. I mean, it's just something to watch out for. So let's get started. Follow me on uh, Twitter. Be one of my first 10 followers. I made this yesterday. Uh, I don't fuck around. I'm the hardest ice cream cone on Twitter. So that's right. <laughs> Follow me on Dingles Crypto, short little fun crypto videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We got 48. I'm trying to get to 100 before Christmas. That would be a great Christmas present. So make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you. So let's jump right into it. So this is Cover Protocol's interface. You know what? Let's take a quick look at the price recently because it has it has uh, exponentially grown in price and market cap, obviously because of the listing on Binance. So that was pretty uh, substantial. Does that mean they have uh, money backing them from Binance? Maybe, because usually if lower level altcoins get listed on Binance, I mean, it's it, there's some uh, possibilities there, but I mean, I still like it. It's a very good protocol, but let's just jump right into it. Max supply, 90,000. So very low circulating supply, but that really doesn't matter. But okay, so this is the interface, very nice. Um, I know Alan has been working very hard on this because I've been following him since this was came out as safe and then there was some drama and people had a breaking off. So, but I like Alan a lot, he's a very good developer, so. So let's just uh, play around with it a little bit. So you can get insurance on all these. You can buy claim or no claim tokens. And basically, if you hold no claim, you are the insurer. And if you hold claim, you are the person getting insured. So to mint these tokens, this uh, you can go ahead and mint it for any of these protocols. So if you want AVE, expiration date, boom, max, and then you have zero, and then you approve it, and then mint. After minting the claim or no claim tokens above, by depositing the die, you will be able to participate in shield mining. So let's just jump right into this. This is yield farming, but for insurance, right? And this is only a limited time offering, and actually this this uh, increases the premium insure, insurance, uh, not providers, and people that want insurance pay because of shield mining increases the uh, probability of being a insurance provider because so more people want to be insurance providers so let's just look at shield mining real quick so you can add liquidity to any of these pools right and you can add, put your liquidity pool over here and then you earn cover tokens so as you can see if you want to do cover eth 104 on is it balancer? Oh, go to sushi swap. So it's on sushi swap. Uh, the protocol I covered yesterday. So uh, things are coming together. Hey, there's their first tent. Uh, cover and sushi swap. They cover. I mean, they're they're uh, they're looking like they're working in the cahoots, which is good or bad or indifferent. It's your opinion. I have my. I mean, I I've done. I put. I positioned myself to benefit from these things that are happening. So, uh, comment what you what you believe is happening. <laughs> so okay, so that's pretty much the protocol. It's very interesting. It allows. I mean, insurance is definitely a necessity in DeFi because, like Bad Badger Dow just came out the other day. They did just did a a token airdrop for people. There's a list of reasons. But they already have coverage for them, bonus, bonus reward. So you can earn this many. Everybody has yield farming right off the bat. So it might be good to get in on this stuff because cover is not going anywhere. And if they do a rug pull, it would be absolutely idiotic on their part. Because I know Alan worked very hard on this. I'm sure the other developers did as well. 
because they they had a extremely quick turnaround on this protocol. I know there was drama like two months ago, and ever since then they've been working very very hard. It looks like because they pushed this sucker out quick, which is very impressive. But I think it has a lot more potential. My perpetual. Let's go right into uh, the tokenomics. I'm going to get to what I was just about to say in the next tab. So tokenomics, here's the distribution schedule, cover distribution, year one, year three. So, so there is still going to be shield mining in year three. Detail tokenomics will be allocated to cover. So 87%. 26 shield mining 12 percent will be for the reserve that's not invested so that's exactly what you want to see you want to be able to reward your team i mean 12 percent's not a crazy amount but it's good i mean you don't want them to have more than 20 25 percent because so and then only one percent for the cover treasury i mean i guess that's all right but i would like to see a little more for their treasury because something's going to come up in the future and they're going to have to find some money to solve issues but you know what i don't mind that i definitely don't mind that it looks good to me this cover cover is a legit protocol it looks very very nice so let's get into the potential pay as you go cover agnostic collateral which i do not know what i mean i should have uh Hopefully they publish an article on that. Actually, let's look that up right now. Agnostic collateral. Uh, I'm terrible at spelling. Six. Oh, fuck it. I guess we're not learning about that today. But maybe I'll learn about that another day. But pay-as-you-go cover, perpetual cover, possibilities, as well as you can speculate on insurance, guys. I mean, tokenomic tokens in DeFi will be Lego pieces. So it's going, I mean, there's going to be financial, pro every, every conceptual financial product in history that traditional finance can't perceivably, perceivably do. I mean, just one thing that blockchain allows you to do that traditional finance has never been a, a, a able to do is micro payments, which is a very interesting con concept like yield farming. I mean, has never you probably could do that in traditional finance, but just take Brave browser for an example. Like if you use this browser, you get a very small payment for your attention uh so every month so like micro payments are not something that traditional finance can do effectively because it's expensive to do stuff like that um so i already went through how you you go ahead and use your claim and no claim tokens so i will link this article in the bio if you want to go ahead and read it so let's jump right into the develop developer so building decentralized scalable and fungible coverage which i mean he he he's a good developer and you know who this guy is right there's another hint there's another hint right oh ready ready like this comment andre is trying to acquire DeFi. i mean it's in black and white guys yearn and cover merger yearn and sushi sushi merger yearn I mean, I think there's another one too. Pickle, like all these financial products are merging, are merging. So it's like, damn, I mean, is it good or bad? I mean, that's what happens. Ethereum is a free market country. So what are you going to have? Monopolies. So once again, I that is you have to be betting on these monopolies guys so if you're in finance as well so will cover so will so will uh sushi and pickle i mean maybe some of them will fall off because if there's another merger that sh overshadows this previous protocol it's going to these DeFi these DeFi mergers are legit guys so here's another uh developer on cover 
I don't know much about them, but yeah, I don't know much about them. And Crypto Pumpkin. So yeah, and the uh, cover has already had a couple of claims, which shows their, I mean, they work. They work, so that's nice to see. This is their uh, Discord active. I mean, like, um, where's that announcement I just saw? Like, Perp5 will be launching mainnet soon with immediate support by co for coverage on cover protocol. So, like, very quick at finding new DeFi protocols. And I've never heard of Perp protocol, but I might want to look in that into that. And um, so, it's very... Looks very good. Looks very good. So keep an eye on cover. I would gain some exposure to that protocol, whether that's through Yearn or maybe maybe uh, do some yield farming to earn some type of cover, cover tokens, even though I think they're a little overvalued right now because of Binance's, uh, Binance's announcement and listing. So just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe when you see a retracement, get on in on it a little bit, some exposure. But DeFi is monopolizing. And that's all I have to for today. Just keep that in mind. I appreciate each and every one of you. And peace out till next time. Thanks.